What is up? My dog's lost hair. Beautiful morning along the beach, and we're gonna be throwing some light tackle, chasing down mainly snook to see if we can get on some big ones. Summertime, the snook crews up and down the beach or in the inlets, and throwing light gear at them along the beach is one of the most fun ways to catch a big one. So uh, let's see what we can make happen today. All right, rocking a light setup today. 2,000 size reel, medium light rod, 30 pound fluoro, bucktail jig. There's a the fish already. There we go. Feels like a jack curveball, but we'll see. Just bouncing that bucktail jig in the surf. Good start off early. Ugh. I'll still film a B roll. I know, first fish <laughs> of the morning. Jacob just had to do a 100 yard sprint down the beach because he was over there filming B-roll and I was already out cooking. Little Jack Creval, not the targeted species today unless they get about 20 pounds bigger, that would be fun. But we gotta start somewhere, monkeys off the back. And now we can start catching big snook. And it's cool, if you look at these, I catch Jack all the time in my videos how white and blue this fish is. Cause that guy's been living in the ocean his whole life. Probably never gone into the river. When they're in the river, they get such dark yellow fins. They're awesome looking. There's one. What do we got here? Oh, it might be another jacker ball. But we're on. Whew. Second fish early in the morning. Sun coming up. Doesn't get much better than this. Unless they got a little bigger, then it'd get a little better. I think I think we got another jacker ball on probably, but we're dialing something in here. The snook and jack, they're eating the same stuff, so. We've got to find the snook. We'll be in business. A little better jack there. Nothing to write home about. Not going to pine over that too much. All right. The fish are chewing. It's not the right fish at the moment, but hopefully we can dial in the snook. If the jack are eating, snook and jack are eating the same thing along the beach. They're crushing glass minnows and uh, little bait fish, little pilchards moving, and that's exactly what this white bucktail jig is supposed to imitate. There's a little white bait fish popping along. Can't tell what we got here. Doesn't feel big. We're absolutely crushing the fish though, man. Like, I don't know, fishing 10, 15 minutes, I've had three fish. Whoa, ombre, easy. Osprey just swooped in on my freaking fish. Luckily, they're pretty smart, man. Oh, well, well, well. Another suspect. I was gonna say, that felt kind of weird. We got a moonfish or a look down, a member of the Jack family and a goofy alien one at that. The old paper thin moon dog. I'm dropping them. We'll throw them. All right. They skipped him like a skipping. <laughs> I know. <laughs> that osprey was about to smoke that moonfish. Hard to tell what we got. Pretty head shaky, but. Thing's kind of a heifer. The alpha moon dog. <laughs> There we go. There's a the snook we're looking for. Finally, finally, finally into one. He thumped that on the move too. Woo! 
Stay down, brother. Stay down. We're just gonna guide him up in the surf, kind of use the waves to his, our advantage here. Once they're in the trap, it's a little bit of a tango here, just like pulling them forward, pulling them back. Beautiful. Beautiful little surf snook right there, probably about a 17, 18 incher, not a big one, but he popped that little paddle tail working down the beach and hopefully we'll find a big one because how it works is this is a little male and he follows the big giant females around the beach and tries to harass them and whatnot. And uh, hopefully we can find one of them big ladies, but that is a good start. Target species is down. Feels good, man. Feels good to catch one. Woo. All right. All right. We got to retie real quick. Even a small snook like that can fray up your leader very badly. So it's always good to check because there was enough fray in that. If I hooked a big, big snook, man, it would be dangerous. So when we're fishing the beach, a few notes. The fish typically hang out in the trough. That fish, if you're watching, he ate nearly like in line with me parallel to the beach. I was throwing down the beach parallel to the shore and that fish ate like that. On the beach, typically, you have a first trough right against the beach and you have a second trough that's a lot further out. And we're trying to work the first trough and every once in a while throw some casts out wide. And secondly, during the summertime, Snook are eating basically two types of forage along the beach, white baits and then croakers and whitings. So white baits would be like your glass minnows, your pilchards, your thread fins, little small white baits, like things like that big, that, that little bucktail jig that I started the morning throwing would imitate. And then you have croakers and other types of little small drum that surf the beach. And that's what that's supposed to imitate. Brown back, white bottom, little croaker cranking along the shore. All right, we are retied. We are re-rigged. We are gonna hop back in the water and see if we can find a big heifer. But today's already been pretty cool, man. A couple of mixed species and then whack a small male. Hopefully big females waiting around the corner. just getting ready to get off the beach. The bite really slowed down. We caught all of our fish first thing in the morning and been kind of grinding for like two hours or so. As we're basically at the stairwell off the beach, here comes a giant school jack and we see a snook swimming in the surf and we're like, all right, we'll stay, we'll stay, we'll stay a little longer. So I have a swim bait on, a little golden swim bait here. And we're gonna keep looking for a snook, but also something that maybe one of those big jack would be willing to pick up. So we're gonna keep casting and hopefully we'll whack that big fish we've been grinding for all day. Literally just cast it onto a fish. I think. Am I tripping? Wow, the constellation. <laughs> Literally just watched a school of massive jacks swim by. I throw in the water after they went peeling off and caught a whiting. <laughs> I've not caught a whiting in a very long time, man. Another member of a drum family right there looked really reminiscent to a croaker. And big, <laughs> big giant snook love these things, man. 